Hey guys, I thought I'd throw together a quick little video for my machining guys. And for you tractor guys, I really am going to get to you. But right now, like I said, this is a quick video. I still have two broken cars I got to take care of. So please bear with me. Now I want to make sure that this side is square to the side I'm about to mill. I didn't want to pull out a dial indicator, so I just used a one, two, three block. So this is one of those solid carbide end mills that Captain McFingle donated, and I really appreciate that. And now I want to just give it a shot and see how it cuts. So I'm going to start off with a 5,000th depth of cut and lock off the axis. And you see the axis I'm locking off? That's the wrong one, and you'll hear it start to labor when it's moving. It took me a couple of passes to realize that it's the reason why it's making so much noise is because it's fighting that that locked axis. So I unlocked it and locked the correct one. Initially, I started off with a five thousandths depth of cut. Then I moved it up to 10 and eventually 15. There was no struggle with the machine at all. I could have gone with more, but uh, just wanted to do a little quick test run of it. And I love it. This carbide cut extremely well, and I'm going to start experimenting with the speeds and feeds on it, but since it's carbide, I know I can push it a lot harder, but I'm not sure what the machine can push, so we're just going to just keep playing around with it and figure out the best way to cut, but that's it, it's really nice and smooth. Okay, so at least I got to use this a little bit today. Um, that KBC carbide end mill cut like butter. I was being real gentle with it. I think I'll uh, explore a little bit more next time. And just to show you a couple more things that I need to fix on the machine. Okay, there's still a weeble wobble in this pulley. So I'm gonna have to take the pulley out and I'm gonna bush it and bore it out to make that not uh, wiggle. Also, the locks up here that lock this overarm uh, they both are broken so I need to make locks for that the there's a couple of handles I need to re replace also this is still I need to fix the spring so that that's homemade but so that it stays all the way closed and not that little bit of wobble uh, one of the major things is I don't have an arbor that's why I'm not using it in the horizontal configuration. Uh, but I got the stock to make an arbor, and I uh, intend to make an arbor for this. So there's, and, and, and the other locks, like down on here, for example, the lock here and the ones on the other axes, um, they are all kind of in need to be replaced or made new. So that's another thing I need to do. So all these little things, I mean, it runs like a champ, but uh, these little things I want to do to get this thing 100%. I just don't have the time right now, but uh, just to show you, it's a good milling machine and uh, hope to be doing more with it soon. Thank you for having patience with me and uh, take care. Thanks for watching.